Hello, right now I'm going to be doing a tour of the DIR655 online setup page. So we open up Firefox, type in the IP address of the router, which is default 192.168.0.1. Type in a password. So right now, this is the online setup page. It's very nice, has many things you can tweak and mess with. Uh, right now it's on the status page which shows you basically everything about the router should probably not show you the MAC address but there um, I mean it's this is good you can go to tools this will let you upgrade the firmware and like if you want it to send you emails when something happens you can set that up now when you go to the advanced settings you see this huge amount of things you can tweak with all these fields of whatnot. Uh, port forwarding. Now, a unique thing about this router that some other routers have, but this actually works very well, is the quality of service engine. And what this does is it knows what basically wireless and wired transmissions it's sending out. And if, let's say if one person in your house is playing on their computer they're playing an online game and they need a lot of bandwidth to play so it doesn't have lag and another person is just surfing the internet what the quality of service engine does is it knows who's playing the game and it gives them majority of the bandwidth and it does actually work because I have an Xbox 360 as I showed you before with the WGPS thing and basically uh, before when I had my old router, I would always get laggy when I was my, whenever my brother was on his computer. But then with this router, it's no lag, so that's very nice. I I love this quality of service feature, and it does actually work. Uh, another thing about this router is it has advanced firewalls, so you're gonna get really good security with this router. Um, a bad part about this router is that if you want to change like any setting it requires like a reboot of the router so if I want to uncheck that and click save it says reboot now reboot later and then if you click reboot now it makes you wait 15 seconds for the router to re reboot and then down here you see that right now I have internet and that will turn into an X very soon so if you could just wait a second. Meanwhile, you can see Cartman. Yeah, and then, yeah, it's an X. So that's gone. But then, if we connect again. Don't know whose network that is. There it is, there's my network. So right now it's connecting. Right after the reboot of the settings. So now you can see, we basically have internet again. Do we? I don't know. Oh, it doesn't say internet. Give me a second. Local. Come on, internet. Yes, okay. So the internet's back. And that's good. Oops. So now we're back on this page. Now another thing you can do is go to wireless settings and do a manual setup and this will allow you to change anything about wireless. What signals you want to send your channel with. Check out my other video to see how you can make your internet speed faster. Right now normally you'd be getting 130 but with a few of the tweaks you can get 300. So check out my other video if you want to know how to do that and overall it's a really great router so yeah thanks for watching see ya